Hey boys and girls, today we're going to talk about customary capacity. So capacity is just a big word for like liquid measurement, okay? Um, so you may hear that talked about, you know, what's the capacity of that container? It just means how much can it hold. Um, so the amount that something can hold in liquid form is the capacity. So we have lots of different units of measurement for capacity or liquid measurement. A small one that we use are ounces. So you may recognize this um, from maybe if you've ever helped a younger sibling or a family member if they were making a bottle. A lot of times they talk about the amount that they put in the bottle as ounces. So it's not a lot, it's a very small amount. Tablespoons and teaspoons are also very small amounts picture a spoon. Um, a tablespoon is larger than a teaspoon. One tablespoon is actually three, about three teaspoons. So you may have used that in measurement uh, earlier this year when we were making our Christmas ornaments. We used teaspoons and tablespoons to do that. Um, so fluid ounces, not to be mistaken with ounces as far as weight. Like when you hear a baby is born and they weigh two pounds, five ounces. Those are different kinds of ounces. We're talking about fluid ounces. So a lot of times you will see the FL with the ounces. And ounces um, is represented with OZ. There is no Z in the word ounces, but that's how we represent that. Next is cups. Cups are our cups have eight ounces in them. So that is a cup of drink or the milk you get from the cafeteria is a cup. A cup really isn't a whole lot of drink if you think about it. Um, and I think it's because we're so used to these 20 ounce drinks or 16 ounce drinks. So eight ounce seems like a very small amount because we're so used to drinking bigger amounts. So a pint is another measurement. That is two cups or 16 ounces. So if you have anybody, or if you're here with me at school, the creamer that I use is usually in a pint, or if you can picture an eggnog carton or another smaller milk carton, a lot of times that's a pint. It all depends on, on your container. So as long as it has 16 ounces, you know that's a pint, so two cups. A quart has four cups, or two pints, or 32 ounces. So I have an example of a quart right here, and you can see that a quart has 32 ounces and four cups or two pints inside of it. And here's the lid, so this is your quart. A lot of people do buy quarts of milk or quarts of uh, other liquids. And we have a gallon. So a gallon has 16 cups eight pints and 128 ounces. So picture a gallon of milk. That's something that most of us have seen. Um, if anybody's been here at school with me, I have that big jug of water. That's about a gallon. It's not even quite a gallon. So probably a lot of you have memorized and learned about the gallon man. I'll zoom it in right here on this. I'll move over to this side. So our gallon man, or gallon girl, if you want to make her that, is a just a picture representation of our customary units of capacity. Now just like our customary units of length, we no longer have to memorize this, but it is very helpful to know automatically how many are in each one. So to help with this, we draw a big G, and inside of our gallon, we have four quarts. And I give mine some tablespoon eyebrows and some teaspoon eyelashes to help me remember that there are three tablespoons and one teaspoon. But then there are two pints in every quart, so that helps me to remember that in a gallon, there are two, four, six, eight pints. And if there are two cups in every pint, and I know I have four, eight, 12, 16 cups in a gallon. And then you could go on and on and think of the ounces. If there are eight ounces in a cup, and there are four cups here, then there's 32 
and you continue to multiply until you get your 128 ounces that are in a gallon. So like I said, you don't have to memorize this, but honestly, in my real life, I picture this a lot whenever I'm trying to make big amounts of something. Like if I make lemonade for all of you here at school, or if we're at a ball game and I'm create, you know, making a big thing of Gatorade. So um, this is very helpful to know, but it's also important that you realize that capacity means liquid measurement. And this is customary, the units we use here in America, ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons.